Hello, I'm Johnny and welcome back to my channel. Sorry about the glare. It's a dull day but there's still like a shine in here. So I'm just going to uh, show you these books that I've been getting. Because the artwork in it is absolutely amazing. Um, it's uh, Terry Pratchett. Um, he's known for their books, Discworld. I think I've only read one of them but I have got a collection of them. I keep meaning to get around to them. Uh, I think it was... Which one was it? Mart, I think I read. Really good. And the artwork's even better. Um, so it's, uh, let's see, The Pratchett Portfolio. Um, Terry Pratchett, uh, oh, another word I can't pronounce. A compendium of characters from Discworld, lavishly illustrated by Paul Kidby. And these are sketches, so no colour. I thought I'll just show you. I paid £3 for this on eBay. And it's such a bargain. Oh, well, there's colour on that one. And these are the characters that's in the book. So if you like Discworld, well, you don't even have to like Discworld. If you like illustrations by a brilliant artist, I would check this book out. It's not a very thick book, but still worth a read. My friend absolutely loved these books, rest us all. Um, and that's how I got onto it. Yeah, she was always listening to the audio books and she just loved the artwork. As I do. So I'll just read the back. It says, Terry Pratchett's incredible disc world floating through space on the backs of four elephants standing on a giant tail support some of the most popular characters ever imagined in the worlds of fantasy fiction. But the Discworld people are real, even if their world is little. Fantastic. Readers have their favourites and debate rage as to exactly how they really look. Well, it's just in your imagination, isn't it? Because when I was reading the books, they didn't look anything like these. Just what was in my head. So, and this one, oh, I don't know if I'll be able to show you the full book on here. It's called The Josh Kirby Discworld Portfolio. And I just seen this uh, when I was looking at the books. And I seen uh, Josh Kirby's artwork. Absolutely amazing. And uh, I think it's this way. I'll just, I mean, look at this. The detail is absolutely gorgeous and it's filled right the way through of all his artwork and the book is absolutely massive as you can see, it won't even show up fully on the camera. So I will, what's it say on the back? Josh Kirby's long-standing collaboration with Terry Pratchett, author of the phenomenally successful Discworld novels has earned him a rare distinction in the fantasy art genre. Jenna, Jenna. Some of the world's best Discworld paintings are featured in this portfolio, in addition to a selection from children's books. And these some other artists. And I was looking on the internet at these. Which one's my favourite? Rodney Matthews. But the books are really expensive. This one wasn't. I got this pretty cheap. But uh, these are about gone for about 80 quid. And I think this book's been out for about... I mean, that's the original price, 12 95 So it's a collector's book. Does it tell you anything when it first come out? 1993. So there's Josh Kirby. Very talented man. And that's about him. 
And look at this, absolutely stunning. I mean, it must have took months and months. Look at the tiny little, the little frogs and the little, or other, little weird things. And the colours, I think that must be, looks a bit like watercolour. Showed you that one. I'm not going to go through the whole book because it's uh, really thick and difficult to hold. But it just um, really inspires me. All the colours and the detail, the sketching. Absolutely amazing. Which one was my favourite? Oh, this one's my favourite. I just love all the expressions on the characters' faces. And even that horse. And the elephant. Just so much work gone into this. Amazing. Yeah, that's uh, Mart, the book I read. Flip through a bit more. I mean, look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, my favourite colour green. So comical. And this one, oh yeah, is it this one? Oh, there's one of them. And it's got hundreds and hundreds of tiny little elves or goblins, wherever they are. I think they're on a... Oh, there's the turtle with the elephant stood on his back, holding Discworld up. And the world is flat. That's why it's called Discworld. Anyway, one more. Oh, this one I thought was funny. The rug people. It's a uh, massive, well, it's not massive, it's just a rug, and there's all these tiny little people living in it and these little I think that's a bug or something rather different colour greens yes yeah, so I will read this some more thoroughly because I really enjoy it and this one so I hope you enjoyed these videos uh, Josh Kirby is the artist of this one and Paul Kidby is the artist of this one so Thank you for watching. Johnny signing out. See you. Bye.